Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to talk about God created people. So let's go find out God's message together. Can you see the mirror right now? Can you go find it and look at yourself? Can you see your image when you look in the mirror? Today, um, our lesson is about God created people. We are going to learn about how everything was created in just six days. Do you guys remember what God made on the first day and second, third, fourth and fifth have you ever thought about where the stars came from and how the oceans were formed have you ever wondered how giraffe got those long necks and how about a flowers how flowers smell so good it's because God created them to be that way. In the very first book of the Bible, we all know it's Genesis. And we read all about how God created everything. God created small little stuff. God created all the things. God is so powerful and awesome. He didn't have to spend like years, years to create all the things that he made, whatever he made, he didn't have to spend that much time. All he did was say, let there be light. And there was a light. Or let there be plants and trees. And just like this, trees and plants were everywhere. And you know what? On the last day, he made his most, most special creation. Do you guys know what that is? People! He took extra special care in creating us, in creating Adam. The Bible says that he created us in his image. Meaning, we're made to have relationship with Him, relationship with God. He wanted to have a friendship with us. He wanted to talk to us and He wanted to spend time with us. That's why we're God's most special creation. When God has finished, He looked at all of His masterpiece he looked at all the creations he made and he said that is very good genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 27 he says then god said let us make mankind in our image in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. On the sixth day of creation, God made people. God said, let us make man in our image. They will rule over the whole earth and all the creatures on earth. God took dust from the ground and made a body. God breathed into the man and the man became alive. God planted a garden in the land of Eden and put the man there. God told the man to work in the garden and take care of it. God provided food from the trees for the man to eat. And God provided a river to water the garden. Then God said, you may eat from any of the trees in the garden except for one. The garden had a tree in it, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned the man, if you eat from the tree, 
you will die. Then God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. So God decided to make a helper for the man. God brought to the man the animals he had created, and the man gave names to all of the creatures, but none of the animals was a good helper for the man. So God made the man fall fast asleep. He took one of the man's ribs and created a woman. When the man saw the woman, he was very happy. This one at last, he said, is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. The woman was a perfect helper for the man. She was his wife. The man's name was Adam and his wife's name was Eve. God gave Adam and Eve good things. He put them in charge of the animals and provided everything they needed. God looked at everything he made and it was very good. So on the seventh day of creation, God rested from his work. God created people in his own image and provides for everything he made. People are special because God made people to live forever in a relationship with him. Through his son, Jesus, we can have eternal life with God just as he planned. Just like that in the Bible, Bible says that the beauty around us every day is our evidence of God's creativity. Remember everything God made, but God made us and he wants to see himself in us in our daily lives and he made everything beautiful around us and he's telling us you are my masterpiece so look at yourself on the mirror and I'll hopefully you can see god in the mirror when you look at yourself and think about and how we can live just like jesus how we can live like god let's pray together Lord God, we are so thankful that you made each one of us just like, just like you. And help us to act like you, help us to think like you, and help us to see other people just like you so we can be like you in our daily lives, Lord God. And help us to love you more and more. We love you, Lord, and I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. You guys did a great job, all of you, and I'll see you next Sunday, and hope you have a great Sunday. Bye-bye. Happy Sunday.